How did you build a business case that informed your decision to support Kenyan school children using health initiatives rather than tackling education access disparity? That, that decision was part of the evolution of Cliffy Kids. We started out, our very first project was a smaller project to put uh, computers into schools and to make sure that secondary school students uh, had access to technology. It's a very important problem, but had access te to technology and became familiar with it. The problem with that intervention in our own minds is we just didn't know how much it would, it would help. Are these kids going to get better jobs in the future? Are they going to be able to really compete in the, in the world if they know Microsoft Office or, or what have you? It's, it was impossible for us to tell whether that's going to help or not. So I, I decided to look at it from a different perspective of let's get evidence before we spend the money. Let's know exactly what we're going to get out of this before we do it. The, and this kind of comes down to the magic of the internet is that there's so much knowledge that's available on PubMed, on JSTOR, on a tremendous number of places. So what I looked up specifically was what health interventions would give us the biggest bang for our, for our, the biggest bang for our intervention, for, our, for those funds. What I found was that deworming was really cost effective. Giving, treating kids for the, the intestinal parasites that they have was very, very cost effective. Um, it improved their schooling outcomes. It cost about 25 cents per child. It's, it was easy, the medication is easy to give, it's safe to give. All this information came from a professor in Harvard who undertook a public health study and then published it. And so that made the business case pretty simple to me. And I was able to pull some evidence together and then share it with our partners. They thought it was a great idea and then share it with investors and people who would donate the money for this. And they thought it was a great idea too. So because of that ev evidence, I could say, hey, all we need from you is one quarter per child and we can make a huge world of difference. Mm -hmm.